We were uh, granted $3 million by the General Assembly last year for a competitiveness fund where we funded research at 16 of our schools. And one of the grants was to a and in partnership with UNC Chapel Hill to look at a new way to test for allergens. And it's a very simple, non-invasive saliva test, which would be a, a, a much nicer way to test for allergens in people than the old skin prick test. How many years does it take before you take an idea like that? It shows promise for a year or two. Do you finally say, you know, we may have a product here that, that people can use that will be federally approved? It varies on the complexity of research, but most of our research could take anywhere from four to ten years to get it out to where it's useful. One of the things we're really concentrating on the UNC system is economic development and jobs and turning our research into a product that helps the citizens of North Carolina. So we're trying to push that faster and faster and faster so that we can get the research results to the people much sooner. How do you depict which research angles are going to turn into job creation vehicles for North Carolina? That is a real challenge for me and it's hard to be right all the time. But we look at um, write-ups, we look at track records of the faculty and things like this to try and make an assessment and we get other experts to review the work and, and tell